Hi guys, welcome to another lecture and today we will be discussing about some terminologies related to synosis. Before I begin, I would like to request you to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, if you haven't downloaded our awesome app, we have, uh, you know, amazing image based discussion, even have masterclass for residents, masterclass for undergraduates. And, uh, you know, you can avail all the services, uh, you know, as low as 100 rupees. So please go check out the app. It is amazing. There are multiple free lectures in the app so that you can learn and you can get an idea that how is my teaching or how is my approach. So the next thing is that we have a patient with cyanosis. So firstly, we'll say cyanosis when the deoxygenated, deoxygenated hemoglobin is more than 3 to 5 gram percentage. Now, why is this important? 3 is the single most value. If someone asks you that, okay, if the 3 to 5 both are in option, then 3 is the best value. And usually it is diagnosed when the deoxyhemoglobin is more than 3, the bluest discoloration. Now, the first thing that in psychosis you should know in is that acrocyanosis. Now, this acrocyanosis is due to hypothermia. It is seen in newborn due to hypothermia, due to sluggish circulation. Okay, there is sluggish circulation in the periphery when the child is cold. When the child is in mother's stomach, amniotic fluid, the temperature is less because the amniotic fluid regulates the temperature and it is lower than the uh, outer temperature. Okay, when the patient comes out, there is very high risk of hypothermia. That is why in newborn resuscitation, the approach is TABC. First, you see the temperature and then ABC. So, in neonatal resuscitation, you have to remember that hypothermia is a big thing. Sometimes what happens, the newborn is born and the newborn is fully cyanotic because there is acrocyanosis and later due to rewarming, they usually do not require any other treatment. With rewarming, they are normalized. So once you have a patient with cyanosis, then what are the types of cyanosis? So understand that this is the aorta. This is the aorta. You understand this is the aorta. This is the brachiocephalic trunk, right brachiocephalic trunk. Okay. So, okay. Then uh, here there is the left common carotid and here is the left subclavian. Okay, so this is the supply of the upper limb. The entire, you know, area above the heart, all that area is, you know, given by this right brachiocephalic trunk. Okay, it is given by left common carotid and left subclavian. Okay, now what happens is that there are two main sites where the ductus gets attached. So one is this site and one is this site. The two sites that I have showed you with the cross, these are the site where ductus attaches. Okay, so with ductus attachment over here, imagine that ductus attaches over here and you have a patient. You have a patient who has either of the two things. One is that patient has... Uh, you know, coarctation of aorta or interrupted aortic arch, okay? Or you have a patient with PPHN, persistent pulmonary hypertension or pulmonary artery hypertension, the patient has pulmonary hypertension with PDA, okay? Now, in both of this condition, what happens is that uh, the pressures of the pulmonary side is higher than the systemic side. Like imagine in coarctation of aorta, adequate amount of blood is not going into the systemic circulation because there is a coarctation in the area that I'm showing you that imagine that this is the coarctation. Okay. It might be at any place. So it here, okay, there is coarctation. Let's draw some coarctation. So here in this area, there is coarctation. Okay. Now due to this coarctation, the blood flow is decreased. So the pressures on the systemic side will decrease. Okay. So due to that, the shunting in this case would be from the right side to the left side. Okay. In patients with PDA or PPHN, or coarctation of aorta with PDA, okay, the shunting will be in the opposite direction where it used to be, okay. So, in these patients, there will be cyanosis, okay. These patients, there will be cyanosis. Usually, with PDA, you do not have cyanosis, but in these patients, you have cyanosis. Now, this cyanosis that is present, this cyanosis that is present in the deoxidated blood that is coming, this blood will go over in the lower limb because upper limb ka supply is already there. The coarctation occurs after a point, after the, uh, you know, the upper limb and upper head circulation is done. So this area, what happens is the deoxidated blood is coming after the coarctation of aorta. So there will be something known as differential cyanosis. What is differential cyanosis? The upper limb, the upper limb is normal. There is no cyanosis while the lower limb has cyanosis. Okay. The lower limb has cyanosis while the upper limb is absolutely normal. So that is differential cyanosis. If you check SpO2 in the right hand, it will be 98%. If you check the SpO2 in the left foot, it will be 50%. 
This is a hypothetical example. Don't take me to my word. So this might happen. And what is reverse differential cyanosis? Reverse differential cyanosis. Okay. So imagine that you have a TGA. Okay. In TGA, the circulation is entirely opposite. So in reverse differential cyanosis, what occurs is these two conditions. In these two conditions, uh, you know, the same two conditions will occur, but there is a TGA, associated TGA. So in TGA, the circulation is opposite. That is why, you know, the opposite systems will be involved. So when someone asks you that what are the causes of reverse differential cyanosis, it is TGA with PPHN with PDA or TGA with interrupted aortic arch with PDA. So these are the causes of reverse differential cyanosis. And obviously, the differential diagnosis might occur with any other example, but this is one of the things that I wanted to, uh, you know, convey it to you. I hope you like the video and if you like such more content, please subscribe to our channel. It is a no bullshit channel and uh, you can also download our app. The amazing courses are there. So make sure that you download the app. I'll see you in the next one.